Try this again. This is a 20 microfarad capacitor um, right here that I have attached to the AC side. I'm going to be hooking up um, a 560 microfarad DC cap. I have this Crombie running nominally probably at around 950 RPM or so thereabouts. Let's just check it, see where we are RPM wise. RPM wise, 973, 971, something like that. And right now it's consuming 2.32 amps. Now when I load the DC side by attaching um, the capacitor here, we'll see what the RP or see what the voltage jumps up to. Okay, so right there it's basically 218, 220 um, two volt pulses that are going into the small DC cap. Now this is absolutely fascinating. Um, essentially, what it's taking for me to push that current right now is 2.3 amps. Okay, and it's 225 volts. Now watch this, when I increase um, the RPM in this machine, and you'll be able to hear it audibly, you see where we are, okay? Now I'm going to increase the RPM, notice we're starting at 2.34 amps, so thereabouts, 25 volts in, so basically 57 watts input. It's making pulses at 225 volts. Now here we go, I'm going to increase the RPM very slowly, and at a certain point you're going to see this thing, you're going to hear it audibly take off. Now you see it's increasing. 2.3 or 2.9, 3.31. My hands are off. Okay, see it stabilized at 3.3. I'm gonna increase the RPM again. 3.75, making about 302 volts. Okay, keep on going. It's now about four amps. Okay. Now watch this. Now watch this. Increase the RPM just a little bit more. Okay, it's up to about 6 amps now. Watch. You hear it? You hear it unwind? Look at the RPM, or look at the amp draw. Look what it's doing. Now, I haven't touched a darn thing. And it decreased the amp draw on the primary mover on one side all by its lonesome to 2.5 amps. I have not touched anything, and it's making 371 volts. So at a certain point in time, depending upon the nature of the AC to DC capacitor ratio, this thing starts motoring all by its lonesome, um, increases the voltage dramatically, and definitively decreases the amp draw. It went from you know 4 amps down to back to 2 point amps, just basically nominally above what we were doing beforehand. So at 67 watts, we are producing you know 362 volts pulses into that cap, and it's keeping it stabilized, so it's not leaking. I just find that absolutely fascinating. So um, again, this is only one armature running on this gizmo. Um, but I'll definitely put this on the web and uh, show you guys. This is really, really interesting. And I'll decrease the RPM again down and see if we can find that heavy load again. See, there we're back up. I just decreased the RPM again. Now we're back at uh, 3.7 amp draw input to it. All right. 3.6 amps. Anyway, that gets the point across. I'm going to shut her down.